Today we're going to um, change our mixed numbers. We're going to change a mixed number into an improper fraction, okay? So let's just review what the two look like, okay? These are improper fractions. If you notice with an improper fraction, the numerators are larger than the denominators. 6 is larger than 1, 8 is larger than 6, 20 is larger than 4, okay? With your mixed numbers, you have a whole number with a fraction, a whole number with a fraction, a whole number with a fraction, okay? So, what we want to do, we want to start with mixed numbers, and we want to make them look like this. We're going to go from mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we're going we're gonna to start out with it looking like this, but we're going to make it look like this. Okay? So let's get started. Okay? 3 and 1 fourths. All right? What we want to do, we want to draw a long line, okay? And I'm going to write, since my denominator is 4, I'm just going to bring that over, okay? Bring my 4 over. That's going to, it's going to still remain my denominator. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to write 4 in the top times 3 plus 1. You always multiply this number times this number and add this number. So I'm going to say, I said 4 times 3 plus 1. Some teachers tell you to put the little times and plus signs there, but I'd, I'd rather you write it out up here. That way you can see, see exactly what you're doing, okay? So 4 times 3 plus 1. 4 times 3 plus 1. So now you just need to treat this. You need to simplify this. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. And bring your 4 over. Okay. Let's try another one. 2 and 5 eighths. Okay. I'm going to draw my long line. I'm going to bring my 8 over. And I'm going to write 8 times 2 plus 5. 8 times 2 plus 5. So you can actually see that, okay? Because I know a lot of times, you, since you're told to do that, let me do it this way. But then I'm going to write it again right here so you can see exactly what you're doing, okay? So I multiply the denominator times the whole number, and I added my numerator. The denominator times the whole number plus the numerator. Okay? So, 16, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21 over 8. All right. Let's try another one. Um, four and um, two fifths. All right. So I'm going to draw my line. Draw my equal sign. Draw my line. I'm going to bring my five over. I'm going to write my denominator times my numerator, um, my denominator times my whole number plus my numerator. So I have 5 times 4, which is 20, and 20 plus 2 is 22 over 5. All right. Okay, 
And I would like for you to work some right now, please. Uh, I think I'll give you two to work. Um, let's try six and um, one third. And then I want you to simplify. I want you to change this into a improper fraction. Let's go ten and um, two fifths. Okay. If you'll please change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Please place the video on pause. Thank you. All right. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to equal sign. I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to bring my 3 over. And I'm going to repeat it again. 3 times... Six plus one. Okay. Three times six is eighteen plus one is nineteen. Bring my three over. Okay. Hope you got nineteen thirds. Okay, let's work the next one. We want to bring my, our five over. We're going to say 5 times 10 plus 2. 5 times 10 is 50, plus 2 is 52 fifths. All right. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Uh, I hope this video helped you out. Please go to my website at mathwithmoon.org. There you can email me and leave comments and suggestions. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye. Have a great day.